Shit, holla at your boy, holla at your Rob Roy, holla at your nerd star. Um, I hope this is going live. This one is about my uh, conversion from ice cream truck to maybe some um, living off the grid. No, not really, but maybe a camper. I'll say camper. Um, all right, here we go. Is this going to give you some type of idea right here? Let's try to videotape this to my second time. So, it's not like a good thing. So, well, let me go back into the cab. It's chilly out here. I don't want to look crazy talking to myself. The second time in a row. Right? So, right, here we go. Back into the cab. There we go. Now I can see and it's a little bit better. Um... What does this rotate the device mean? Anybody knows what that means? Comment below, let me know, because I don't know. I hope I'm videotaping this right. I mean, I see the minutes going up, so I think it's working. Well, this is my step van. Um, let me give a little bit of background. Well, it's been sitting up two years. Uh, I brought it out as an ice cream truck two years ago. I got it around this time two years ago. Well, three, it's been, this will be the third year, so two years ago. And, um,. And then, you know, I did some ice cream with it. I'll give you a tour of the back. This is my second video on it. Um, I just seen some other ones. I know my other one is kind of shoddy because I was moving around. But if you ever need any um, more updates of this vehicle, if you got one like it, it's a 1985 P30 step van. And um, if you got any questions, let me know. And I'll just go again. This one's going to be about uh, me trying to bring this thing back to life. So here we go. Um, I tried to record this earlier, so I got a bunch of footage. I probably end up deleting it, but my phone was full, so I thought if I go live, at least I could save some space on my phone, and then this could just update. So um, here we go. Um, well, let's go start from. No, I'm not gonna start. I'm gonna start from the inside today. Well, this is the doorway to it i'm gonna switch the camera around and i'll just talk and then if you like the video thumbs up comment below share i'll let your boy rob roy this is the nerd star all right subscribe definitely subscribe i'll let your boy here we go whoops that's out the window and this thing's actually could flip it back and forth for a couple times but this is a little bit of the interior as i said it's been sitting up for a couple years um so i'm just trying to break it back out and um uh, right now the fan is giving me a problem it's not working with well, the fan for the heater but everything else i didn't figure it out the lights had a problem with the lights before um the reason why this is red in here it was green but it was all rusted out that whole thing was rusted so i decided to paint it red i probably repaint it again and go with all black i'm thinking um so I had a red spray paint can, so that's what I just did. It just went red. So if I do it again, I might go back with black. Just bring it all through with black again. So um yep. Yeah. And this is the old school, it's real old school. I'm trying to figure it out. That's why that's out because I'm trying to figure out what's going on with the fan, wiring it up. Um This is the gen first generator I bought. I think I paid 120 bucks for it. I think it, I think they were originally like 150, so needed. I was running. Um, I had at first I was doing hot dogs in here before I was even doing ice cream actually, so I was still doing ice cream. I had like a little bit of ice cream, but mainly trying to do hot dogs. This used to be a big generator thing right here. This used to be my big uh, not generator. Um, this used to be a big frosty uh, machine right here. This way. It's where it is. Um, I paid like 300 bucks for it. I uh, probably got five times my money out of it. So I made about 1500 bucks. I know it easily. Maybe more than that. Cause that was most of my money I was making is from um, slushies. So it was a slushy machine. It was a huge slushy machine. It was kind of probably 10 years old. But it ended up conking out towards the end of the summer. But I made my money off of it. So I just ended up just dumping it. Um, this was... Um, this is something else. I'll come back to this later. But this is I probably have to do a whole video on this. So I end up looking up um snow cones. 
on how to do snow cones to save money too as well um see these as you see like i said i'm breaking back this thing was locked up for two years and anybody that had a business know when you have a seasonal business the last days you just pretty much um close up throw everything in there and probably just shut it down until it's time to open it up again um i want to go for my menu well this is my last menu before i closed uh i had the hot dogs i had sneaker ice cream bars I had ice cream that must have been sandwich snow cones that's what i used to charge i started end up charging but i end up sticking with i think three dollars and seven bucks for the big ones and all right then i had nachos those went real well soda i only had two sodas i had to keep it simple because i i noticed too many ideas people took longer to choose uh root beer float you see i had coke and root beer so if i added a school of ice cream to it i could get four dollars for the same thing basically um chips i had doritos fritos flaming hot dollar each it was a little small bags and chips and cheese well, other a scoop of cheese that could double it uh, water's for a dollar because some people want waters and some people wanted soda no matter even if, even if it's an ice cream truck people are gonna come and ask you for that and then i try to start keeping a little bit of inventory of what i had because i was seeing how much i was going through daily i need this because i need always needed a whole lot of wipes um to wipe your hands this all this stuff anything and everything can go wrong just remember that um this year i installed a bench in here i'm thinking i'm gonna just simple it down get my menu real simple and carry as least amount of things as possible. I'm just gonna go with that this year. Um, also, like I said, I might think about like um, camping in this. So I don't want to be dragging that much stuff out. So if I could, like maybe put a bed here or something, like throw a bed down, and then that'd be it. So um, I'm trying to figure this out as I go, like I did before. Um, also, this is my three sink set up this is like i said it's been closed up for a while so i had three sinks up top and the one down on the bottom i seen this on another uh setup so i did something similar ran it this is the, the hot water heater this is the water uh, i got i forgot how i did it's been it's been like i said it's been two years so um i had to go back through it but for lighting i use these right here and i just plug them in and run them off the, run them off the generator I think this time we'll go with some LEDs. If they're bright enough, I'm gonna put them LED lights in here and um, just run it like that. And let me see some more ideas. Um, this is a 16 total foot truck, if anybody wanted to know. So it's not really that big, but it's not really that small either. The only thing I like is the height of it. The height is, um, so it's gotta be like six, seven feet, maybe. I don't know, six and a half, maybe six and a half feet tall. It's gotta be at least six and a half feet, so it's easy. You can walk in it. Um, it's another thing. I it, this is all my cleaning supplies. It used to be down here, and this this thing. I'm I'm just trying to see how do I have this all organized in here. But I thought I'd shoot you guys a video while I'm doing this. Um. This is a set of from like Kona ice that I kind of invented myself. Those that are into the ice cream thing. So um, I'll do a video on this alone. This alone is a good money saver. Um, I tried to go with, after I got from hot dogs, I saw I was more money into the, the ice cream slushy snow cone things. I started getting into um, other things, so. So actually, like I said, I need a paper so I have one on this side, right here, and I had one on this side this year. And I had moved this chair because I used to step down. I used to serve from this window, and I made this reverse slide so I could um, slide it this way. Um, I have a hammock in here, but never really just just usually hung it right there. But if any, any one of you YouTubers want to come and help me get this thing going a little bit quicker, because now I'm just like freestyling it. I'm going to give you an outside view of it. Mm -hmm. 
Last time I don't think I gave you a good outside view. Uh, right there, the nerd truck. This is where I have my menus at, right here. I took that all down. I think I'm gonna go with an even smaller menu. I need to clean this all up. I might even take this down right here. Uh, ice cream, frozen drinks, I don't know. Need to clean this whole thing up. Um, had one in the door. This doesn't work if I, as I shared in the last video. I'm glad because customers used to try to open this, uh, which is weird. So it's got a 6.2 diesel engine. So it, it's not the best on gas, but it's not the worst. Um, Rotate the wings. Get back to me again, guys. Um, if you need any question and answer, and this is your boy Rob Roy, holla at me. Um, if you got any questions, comment down below. Like you want to see some certain part of this um, truck, because everything I did, I kind of learned in freestyle. So if I could save somebody some um time like somebody i wish somebody would have helped me out because i kind of did, did a lot of things by myself trial and error and stuff i did i did um um trial and error but you know i did smart things i looked up videos and what the thing is you look at videos what works for one person does not work in every um city so that's a little uh known thing so it might work you see a video like yeah it's cool it's cool but it might not work for you or your area that's what it boils down to um yeah this is your boy rob roy um i'm trying to think anything else i need to cover um i hope this video finds the right people and subscribe for my subscribe to my channel if any more video ideas um i pretty much trying to grow a community community here so i do a bunch of different wide variety of videos um but you know if you just want to hear me talk go click through i did some how to be a good father videos also sell different products um so um i pretty much try to cover it all um growing my subscription my, my subscribers shout, shout out to you shout out to whoever um sees and subscribes today um, I'm trying to hit that 2K, but that's 2,000 subscribers. I'm marching towards that, shooting as many videos as possible. I'm trying to up my quality of videos so um, my subscribers could grow and I could get more views. So um, thank you very much. This is Rob Roy. Uh, Till next time, I'm going to start giving you longer videos, so bear with me. I'm going to try to do longer, more quality videos to give you something to look at. So, um, and if you have some ideas to make my videos better, uh, comment below. Uh, read all my comments, and I like interacting with my subscribers because um, without you, I would just be making videos to myself. So, I would say thank you very much. And until next time, it's your boy Rob Roy. Yep. I think I have to. It's just going, guys. It's just going.